Da, 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 Got it. Okay, let's try here. And now no one can see me. I am still Gigi. Yo, what's up, guys? It's King Mimic here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it all the way here to the Humalau City. And oh my god, did we try to get an encounter on this route right here? And apparently, we failed miserably. I know, but. If you guys are wondering, what are we get, what are we doing back in Humalau City, and why are we going to this here route? Uh, I want to try and see if we can get our encounter here. I feel like there's Remoraid and Alola Mole. If we can at least get those, um, it'll be worth it. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a fresh team recap, like I always do. Nothing wrong with that. We got Vanessa, the Gatatel. Uh, Rocking Shadow Ball, Psychic, Psychic, Psybeam, Flash, Golden Twisted Spoon. And then we got Slurp the Muck, Rocking Rockside, Acid Armor, Screech, and Gunk Shot. And then we got Cream Cake, the King Chino, Rocking Tail Set, Workup, Bullet Seed, and Sing. And then we got Mean Chow, I mean Butane 2, the Mean Chow. Rocking U Turn, Knock Off, Drain Punch, and Jump Kick, Only Expert Belt. Then we got te uh, Spore, the Tang Growth, Rocking Agent Power, Stun Spore, Energy Ball, and Giga Drain. Uh, Holding Miracle Seed. And then we got Tusk, the Hasker Haxorus, Rockin' Dragon Ass, Rock Slide, Rock Smash, and Dragon Claw Hole, and the Draco Plate. So. Oh boy. So we're gonna go snag our Surfer in the PC. Don't worry, I'm not sick, you guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm fine. Uh, we'll snag our Swana. I know she's dead, but, I mean, I know Fia is in the death box, but we need Fia. Uh, you know, so we can surf. I don't want to teach Haxorus to surf. It would feel weird surfing on a Haxorus. Wouldn't you guys agree? Surfing on a, a dragon with like that has an axe as a head. Wouldn't that feel weird for you guys? Like surfing on it and then like, you know, we're gonna try our best. And then after we get this encounter, we are going to take on the gym. So, let's hope we can get this encounter quickly enough. Okay, come on. Now 21. Okay, let's try this bubbling water right here. Come on, Alolomola. Jellison, go away. No one cares about a Jellison. And how long have we had Vanessa in the squad? Like, we had Vanessa before we caught... For the first time we caught Vanessa was, uh... Uh, first time we caught Vanessa was before the, uh, before the fourth gym. That was when we caught, uh, Vanessa the Gothita. And now she's a full-grown Gothitelle. That is putting in work. If we keep Gothita throughout the entire playthrough, I'm gonna lose my mind. She'll, she, you know what, you guys? Vanessa's been on my team longer than any of my other mods. Uh, still, let's dupes. But yeah, Vanessa's been on my team ever since, uh, before the fourth gym. And I'd like to keep this Mon throughout the entire playthrough. It's a great Pokemon, I love Gothitelle. This is the first time I've ever began- this is the first time I've ever began to enjoy a Mon like this. Like, usually I'm not really interested in using a Gothitelle, I'm like, Oh my god, quit it with the dupes! I know Remoraid is on this route, and I know you can catch it through Surf. So quit hiding, Remoraid, and come fight. I know you're on this route. I know it's not just Phyllis and Mantike. Come on, Man Remoraid. I might- you know what? I don't think we should even worry about this encounter, man. Like, I know it's important, but really... There's, like, barely anything you can run into here. You can only run into Phyllis and Mantike. They're really, like... I don't have a fishing rod or, or I would fish in this route. I'll give it at least three more tries. If not, then I guess we'll just... 
I guess we'll just um head to the gym. So we'll give it two more tries and see if we can get uh something different. Something something different. Okay, second encounter. Okay, first. Tr I mean, second try. Still a frillish. I just don't want to be sitting here all episode just trying to find uh, an encounter on this route. So we might just skip this route completely because I don't know. I don't. Ha I don't know why they don't give you fishing work early in the game, like they do in most games. Like why? Why after you beat the champion? I need a fishing rod. We can get things other than just. Frillish and Mantite. Okay. Will we finally get lucky and actually get something different, or will we just get Frillish? Let's see. Yes! Finally! Something different! Okay, and the counter in round 21 is indeed a Remoraid. So, Remoraid's actually. Octillery's a pretty good mod. I'm not gonna lie right now. Octazooka. Octillery. Okay, so we got a Remoraid. Interesting. So we finally got a Route 21 encounter. So hype in the chat for us finally finding something. I knew Remoraid was on this route. And it's so cute. I'm gonna name this thing Remora. Remora. Rem. Mora. I know it evolves into an artillery, but still. No, you know what I should name this thing since it evolves into an artillery? I'm gonna name this Ursula. I'm gonna name this, uh, Ursula. I don't know if I spelled that right, but, uh. Leave it, let me know in the comments if I spelled Ursula wrong. But, I know, I'm pretty sure half of you guys know what I'm talking about Ursula from, uh, The Little Mermaid. The main villain, the main antagonist. Oh my god, finally we got something different. Okay, Route 21 is finally done. Well, we didn't explore it, but I mean, we finally got ourselves an encounter there. So I'm very happy. We made some success today. So, if we spelled it wrong, I will, uh, I will go back, I'll go to the name raider and, uh, well, Hactress isn't really dead, so... But I'll go back to the name raider and re uh, respell it out. Or I'll just search it up and then, uh, yeah. So I guess today we're gonna head to the uh, gym. So there's not really much you can really do up until this point, because, well, you can go explore a uh, seaside cave, but I, I think it'd be smarter exploring there when we actually, um. Oh, I might have to teach Haxorus Surf. You know what? I'm gonna teach. Uh, Haxorus Surf. I know, it seems stupid. I know, I know. I will regret it, but you know what? I don't want to, uh, have to replace two mons, so I guess I'll have to teach Haxorus how to surf. So, Haxorus, what's your special attack? I uh, guess I'll get rid of Rock Smash for now. I'm going to regret it, but we need a mom with Surf, and I don't want to, I don't want to keep bringing out, uh, uh, Fia. It's gonna get really irritating. Uh. And yeah. So, hmm. So we'll put Spore. Franca Spore is gonna be the MVP of today's episode. And we'll go ahead and take on the gym. Let's go there. I know it feels. It's gonna feel so weird having a Haxorus with Surf. Uh, so weird. And don't worry, it's a Mon Haxorus. It's a move that Haxorus can normally learn by HM. It's weird, but oh well, we just got to make do with the actress learning surf. It's nothing new. I mean, hey, there's Rhydon that can learn surf. So if you thought actress with surf is strange, uh, Rhydon with surf is a little different. And look, a nice full, uh, a nice Gen 4 mon. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys like Floatzel. I'm one of those people who enjoy seeing Floatzel. Razor Wind, okay. Okay, you can relax, dude. You can chill. Get out of here. That's one down, and the next one is gonna be... 
still Greek. Wait, Tusk ha uh, Tusks has rock slime. Tusk has ha uh, rock slime. Oh, and you know what? Fun fact. You know what's good? We got a Mantike, right? We have a Remoraid, right? So if we decide to add Man uh, Mantike to the Mantine to the team, um. We have a Remoraid, so now we know how to evolve that. And if we don't, if we accidentally evolve a uh, Remora, then we can always just catch another Remoraid off screen and evolve a uh, Mantike. So. Okay, let's go. Um, so how has you guys' uh, Wednesday been going? Sorry, recording late. I just had a lot of things to do. You know, normal king th things to do. Ah, uh, Alola Mola. Alola Mola is one of the one. You know, I think Alola Mola is one of those forgettable mods. And it's not like I hate Alola Mola. I don't hate it. It's just not one of my favorite uh, Gen 5 mods. It's just I kind of wish it got an evolution. All it is is like a sunfish, basically. That's all Alola Mola is based off of. So I kind of wish it got an evolution, and yeah, that's all I have, That's the only reason I hate Alola Mola. I wish it got an evolution. It would have been doper. Oh well, too late now. Alola Mola doesn't have an evolution. And uh, yes, I do know how to get through this gym. It's really easy. It's very simple. Watch, watch. He didn't even challenge me. Bring it on. And yes, today we're going to be t catching Tracheon. Don't worry. I will not forget that. Whoa, look at that thing. Wall Rain has a dope and a dope design. And you know, a lot of people hardly use, um, uh, Wall Rain. I, I don't know if there's, like, a lot of people who enjoy using this mod. Like, it's a great mod and all, but, uh... Really, you I'm gonna heal. I feel like that would be smarter, because what if he doesn't heal and he goes for Ice Fang? What if he goes for Ice Fang again? Okay, he went for Rest, but I didn't want to take any risk of hit him using a, a second Ice Fang, because that probably would... That probably would... That probably would... Uh, take out Spore. So, yeah. Not smart if I accidentally, uh... Wait, I thought Snore... I thought of you... Oh, wait, that's Sleep Pop. Never mind, I thought S Snore literally damages you while you're asleep. While your, uh... The opponent's Pokemon is asleep. If he had Sleep Talk, he probably would've, would've went for, uh... Ice Fang again. I guess not. Wow, Wolverine has a dope cry. He just li sounds like he's snoring. He's like, <gasps> and I'm like, bro, bro, wake up, wake up, Wolverine. This gym's very easy to get through. Like when you play this game for the first time, like you play Gen Five for a lot. Whoops! No, no, I want to go back. I want to go back. There's a trainer. There's a trainer. Go back. You never skip a trainer in a gym. I am not one of those people who will skip a trainer. Fight. Yeah, but um, yeah, Walrein has a pretty good cry and it could design. You know, if they decide to slap on a Mega Evolution for a uh, Walrein, I wouldn't be disappointed because Walrein kind of looks pretty cool. But that's a big if. That's a big if. What if we get the boost from this ancient power? Let's see. Let's see if we can get the boost. Come on. Spore! Why are you using spit up? Can you relax? Can you chillax, Pelipper? You know, Pelipper has the most ugliest design I've ever seen of all water type book one. I'm not a huge fan of Pelipper. And for whatever reason, I will never, ever, like, uh, Pelipper. 
It's not- Okay, it's not a terrible mod. I know Pelper gets Drizzle in, like, Gen 7. Which, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good mod. It could be a good support mod. Like, if you're doing a double battle and you have, like, a... A mod with Swift Swim and then you have Pelper right beside it. And, you know, its ability, Drizzle activates. You know, then that could be very helpful. But, I mean, like, I'm not a huge fan of Wingull or Pelper. The only thing I like about Wingull is... It's cute. That's the only thing I like about it. Um, other than that, I don't like Wingle. Because its evolution is just hideous. So Pelper just somehow got a random mega evolution. I'll be like, come on, really? You're giving me you're giving the worst mon of all time mega evolution. Really? Like why would you just slap on Mega Evolution um on a Pelper when hardly anyone even uses Pelper? I mean, oh, I kind of wish Basculin got an evolution, like, like, Basculin deserves an evolution, dude, this thing looks cool. Like, I wish it became, like, a bigger fish or something. Like, you know, he's a small little tuna, whatever, whatever Basculin is based off of, and then he evolves into, like, a bigger salmon or whatever. But I guess that's how Game Freak designed Basculin, just made him look angry. The blue f uh, stripe form kind of looks calm. Never mind, angry. Soap. You're turning me into a water type. Why? Is there a reason why you decided to turn me into the same type as you, Basculin? And, hey, we reached, um, 120 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. I greatly appreciate the subscribers. I, great I greatly appreciate the support on the channel. You know... You know, you guys are awesome. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. Like, I thought you guys be I thought you guys would be bored of this series by now, but you know, you guys are enjoying it. It gets more better every day. Like, you guys are always excited for another video of Black 2 or Super. And I'm greatly appreciated, man. I appreciate it. I thought you guys would all get bored of Black 2 as well, but you know, you guys all seem to enjoy it. I mean, Gen 5 is a great game. It's literally, like, Gen 5 is my favorite gen. My second favorite gen is Gen 3. Just because Kyogre's in there. And that's basically one of the only reasons why I like Gen 3. I mean, there is a few other reasons. I mean, the storyline of how Archie and Maxie likes to, you know, either surround the entire region with water or destroy all the water and make nothing but land. You know, it kind of makes no sense. When there's already enough land and water, why does why do they need more? And um, the reason why I like Gen Five is actually Team Plasma actually doesn't give up. Like you defeat them in Gen in Black and White, and then Guess is like, you know, I'm. And here's a question: How did Guess get out of jail? Like, wasn't he arrested? Like, wasn't Guesses arrested by, a uh, Looker? How did Guesses get out of jail? Well, let me back up the screen. Kinda looks a little crooked. How did Guesses get out of jail? I wanna know. Is there, like, a hidden lore behind all that? Like, how Guesses get out of jail? Hmm. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. I want to know. I, that's going to keep me curious for a while. Is if how did Getzes get out of jail? Like, he was arrested at the end of the last game. And then somehow, um... And then somehow he's like, Pop goes the weasel. Uh, where do I go from here? What do I... Oh, okay, I know where to go. I know how to do this puzzle now. King is smart. He knows what he's doing. But, you know, it keeps you guys wondering how the heck a villain, like, gets this. You know, a supreme villain ruler of Team Plasma gets out of jail after he was just caught by Looker, the international police. Hmm. Hey, what voice did I give this guy? You know, I'll just make up something. Sup, gnarly, huh? Here already, huh? 
You look strong. Shoot, let's start. Okay, here we go. Eighth gym leader, Marlin. I'm actually pumped. I actually like this guy's design. And, bro, his gym is awesome, too. Caracosta. I think Caracosta... Hey, look. It's, um, Kobe's dad. Now we know what Co now we know what kind of job Kobe's dad in Super Mystery Dungeon has. He goes and um he's the slave of um a surfer guy. And then he just got bullet seed. So he's gonna remember that when he goes back to Serene Village. And I bullet seed him. Guess I'll bullet seed this whale lord. That is a big whale. This should hurt. I feel bad for these poor water type Pokemon. You know, watch, he's gonna get hit again. Bro. Dude, King Chino. King Chino the Sweeper. And Jellison, ooh. Hey, look, it's Pringle Man. It's Pringles. I'll bullet seed you again. If I took out your entire team with this bullet seed. Oh, you have citrus berry, you little snaggle tooth. We're still gonna still get hit, man. Dude, if we KO this thing. Bro! Oh my god! Bro, tell me I'm not dreaming. Dude, did we just sweep his team with one Pokemon? You don't just look strong, you are strong for real. And I was swept away too. Oh yeah, yo, I was so surprised that I forgot to give you this. Thank you, but dude, did we just sweep with one move? I don't even know, I I, I, I don't know anymore right now. <sighs> Poor Marlin. He must feel pretty crushed getting swept by like a little... Whatever King Chino is based off of, that's the wave badge. The Unova region's new gym badge. Pretty sweet, right? Now, you got all eight gym badges, so you could be tight with any Pokemon. And yeah, got a TM for you, too. I don't know who can learn. Oh, that would have been nice for Swan if she was still on the team. So, Skull Supplies burns the target, K. Okay? And you could even use it when your Pokemon are frozen, chilling, and stuff. Shoot, I'm off then. Hope it's useful. I would say, oh, I like how he swims, like, in the background. That is so cool. Dude, literally his background, like, the background of his gym is an ocean. That is so cool. Anyways, yeah, we snagged ourselves our final gym badge with using Bullet Seed. We literally shot bullets at his mods. <laughs> well, I feel bad for Marlin. You've got all of the gym badges, you're really something. Usually you go to the Pokemon League now, but dealing with Team Plasma comes first. Bruh, sup bro? What's this Team Plasma you're talking about? Team Plasma does things like steal my sister's, I mean people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering Unova by using Pokemon to freeze it solid. They're really evil. Haven't you heard of them, Marlin? Bruh, I don't care. Nope. When the ocean's your home, you don't worry about things like that. Cause the ocean accepts all rivers. So you think t was bad then? I get it, they're bad so you fight them. But first, you got to say that in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you want to do. And what you're hoping for. Well then. Wow. He does not care about Team Plaza. Man, I don't know if that guy is just laid back or just irresponsible. That kind of got me down, but our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus, but before that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route 22, got it? Okay, don't tell me what to do, Kit. Oh, wait, I need to stock up on Ultra Balls, because something interesting is going to come up. Something interesting is going to come up. Not going to spoil what that is yet. Why does that look crooked? Something interesting. You guys are gonna like what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna like what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna be excited. 
So if you thought we... Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep mentioning it. Okay, let's uh, stock up on Ultra Balls. Stock up at least... I think 40 will... No, let's go 37. I'm not gonna go that crazy on money. Wait, who's in the front of our pod party? Who can eat up moves? Uh, let's see. This will put Vanessa up front. Oh, I know what to do in this fight. Oh, I'm gonna be smart. Okay, so... I'm actually surprised we actually landed a lot of bullet seeds on all of his mons, like... Dang, like, that's clutch. Okay. Oh, I know what's coming. <gasps> Who's that, you guys? The one radi radi radiating such a tremendous presence before you is none other than Terrakion. Oh, look, it's Mr. Uh, Chorus. It's been a long time. Terrakion is one of the three Pokemon who protected Pokemon from the flames of a human conflict. It seems likely that Trachyon has picked up the scent of danger that emanates from Team Plasma. It's probably seeking a Pokemon trainer who has the strength to stand up to them. It's very interesting indeed that Trachyon appeared before you. That aside, do you plan to confront Team Plasma? Yes. I see, if that's the case, you must have the power to protect your own Pokemon. Being protected by Pokemon alone doesn't make you a trainer. It's because trainers are strong because they care about their Pokemon. That these Pokemon can also be strong. Here, this is from me. Take this human or this weird looking walkie talkie. Uh, this is a, prote a prototype of my device that energizes Pokemon. It doesn't work on battling Pokemon, but you may find it useful for something. Well then, I wish you and your Pokemon a safe journey. Now that I think about it, in the seaside cave on Route 21, I saw something that reminding, reminded me of when we met on Route 4. Stop winking at me! Anyways, you guys, like he explained earlier, Trachyon right here has been waiting for us. So let's go ahead and start up the battle with Trachyon. Guru. I'm actually really excited. Our third legendary Swords of Justice. I have a strategy for this mon. We're gonna use Flash. We're gonna use Flash. Here, have a flashlight. Marks on it. You still land. Dang. How about another Flash? Just so he can't hit us. Oh, you're making a big mistake, Trachyon. Trachyon's gonna be blind. Watch, dude. This guy is not gonna be able to land a single hit on us. We're gonna get I think we can go for one more. Let's try. Let's see if we can go for one more. Okay. Trachyon's gonna have no accuracy. Let's try one more. Bro, this guy's got no accuracy. Now he's can't hit us. He's basically not going to be able to touch us. So we can safely th start chucking balls at him. He, he, he hasn't... There's no way he's touching us. Unless he gets really lucky with, like, you know, landing one move. So his rock slide is gonna have like barely any accuracy. Watch, bro. This is the best strategy against Trachyon for any legendary, so they cannot touch you. I mean, I'm not. I mean, wow, he still managed to land a sacred sword. Wow, got lucky right there, Trachyon. Come on, Trachyon. Helping Hand isn't going to save you. Why do you even have Helping Hand? 
Why do you even have Helping Hand? That's what I would like to know. Why does Trakion have Helping Hand? Huh. Come on, Trakion. You can't hit me, so you might as well stay in the ball. Or not. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go for one more Ultra Ball. Come on. Come on. Aw, oh, dang. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Okay, we should be safe now. I knew he was gonna land Rock Slide. Okay, we can get this thing. I know we can. I know we can get him. I don't care how long this takes. I really need a spawn. I don't know how he's landing his retaliate. I don't care how long this takes. Man, this Trakion's like blind. I know we're gonna get this thing. Oh! what I tell you guys? What did I- What did I tell you guys? I was gonna get this thing. And what happened? Let's see if I can read this. Trakion, the cavern Pokemon. Spoken of in legend, this Pokemon used its phenomenal power uh, to destroy a castle in its effort to protect Pokemon. Dope. Okay, I'm gonna name this thing after Zayden. So, Zayden, thank you for your support on the channel. And I know there's no- I, I would have named you after a Marshadow, but it's not in this game, so I'll name you after a Trakion. So, thank you, Zayden, for your support on the channel, man. I greatly appreciate it, and we managed to capture a track him. So anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, what is your favorite... Um, what is your guys' favorite... How about this? How, what is your guys' favorite genie? You know, Thunders, Landers, Tornadus. Yeah, what is your favorite out of those three? Let me know in the comments. And on that note... I'll bid you guys all farewell. Have a great day.